Okay, here we go. Time for dodging and burning. Make sure our top layer is selected and select layer and new fill layer. There we have new fill layer. And while we're here, let's turn all our other adjustment layers off and backgrounds to increase performance. Now with our fill layer selected, go to swatches, make sure greys are selected and select 50%. And next, select the layers blend mode to overlay. And right click on our fill layer and select rasterize so we can edit it. That makes it editable. Go back to color and pick the paintbrush and make sure our brush opacity is at about 10%. Make sure our brush hardness is right down. Set our editing colors to white and to black. Now select white and shrink our brush down to a reasonable size, about there. And now start enhancing the muscles. Paint white over the lighter areas of the muscles to give them more definition. And the joints and sinews. We're just doing white at the moment. Going over the tops and edges of the mus muscles to bring out the shape, give them more definition. And there's a nice big muscle there. A nice big uh, slab. And now on the face and head, bring out the highlight areas. And it doesn't matter if I go over the edges because I'm going to be cutting the horse and the rider out later and replacing the background. I'm just layering highlights, whites, onto the parts that I want to be more prominent to stick out. We're creating shape. I want some on the clothing and the saddle, definitely the face. A little bit on her muscles, but not much. They're quite defined already. A little on her leg, and then quite a bit on the horse's leg here. I'm not going mad with this. Just layer by layer, bit by bit, bringing out the muscles, especially this big fore muscle, fore leg muscle here. This front leg is sort of imposing, and I want it to be there. It's like standing its ground just trying to bring out the shapes okay i think i'm more or less done with the white so switch to black and sweep over the darker areas of the muscles and shapes to give definition to the lighter areas enhance the muscles in the grooves here under the leg Bit on the dark side of the horse's leg, a little bit more up the stomach, a little by the face, and the little tuft there, and a bit on the eye socket. Add some more definition to these chest muscles, just continually trying to add definition and shape. It's all about shape and darkness and highlight. I don't really want to go too mad. I think I'll go back to white again for a bit and try to bring this leg out a little more and the foreleg a little more, that massive muscle. These edges and the face just a tad more. And again, don't worry about going over the edges because we will be cutting it out in a bit. Just a little bit more in the chest and looking maybe a bit on this knuckle, a bit on the shank and the hoofs and just a tad more on that knee knuckle. And down here to the leg just a little bit more, bring out that muscle just a bit more, balance it all out. Okay let's take a look. 
without, with, without, with, without, with, and without, and with. I think it could do with just a one more sweep of dark, darkening. Let's just go under here, under the stomach, just a tad. It's a bit bright there. I can sort of see it. Slight bit there. Yeah, a bit of definition on the neck. On the side of the head. Oh, one little bit more shape on the face. The bottom of the foot is just bright. I could just see that popping out. And I think we're nearly done. A little point here and there and we are done. So you can definitely see the effect. It's quite striking, a little too much. So I'm going to bring down the opacity to up, down, up, down. This is tricky to get right. It's a judgment call, I think, around about there. Yep, that'll do for now. Very nice. Finally, <laughs> our dodging and burning is done. Right then, now we've got a really big job, which is cutting out the horse rider and plinth and getting rid of the background so we can replace it with a better background. So, create a merge layer, right click on the top layer and merge visible. There's our merge layer. Turn everything else off to increase performance. And we're ready to start cutting. Okay, time to cut things out. So here we go. We're on our merge layer and we'll select the pen tool. Right, just zoom right in so we can start the cutting out. Place our first node here at the bottom of the plinth. Make sure I've got snapping off. Otherwise it can interfere with it. And here we go. Laying down points. Laying down points. Shift the screen. Press space and drag. Laying down points. Notice I'm avoiding the purple halo, which is caused by my dodgy lens, I suppose. <laughs> here we go. Keep going around and around and dragging and going around. This is a slow, slow process. I'm going to be here for a good few minutes doing this first curve. So I'm going to use the magic of editing to speed it up. Okay, here we are at the end of a long, boring process. We've gone completely around the outside of the horse, Lady Godiva and the plinth, and we're coming to the end. So whizzing over to the end, made a little mistake there. Back, 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 here we go. All the way over, space bar to drag, and there we go and just click on the first node click on the first node come on, to create the curve now save your work whatever you do 
Okay, we've drawn our massive curve all around the outside using the pen tool. So, quick save, Control and S, and our curve is stored in a separate layer so we can use it anytime we like. We'll use it to cut out later. We now have to go in and create curves for all of the holes. So we'll start with this one. Zoom in and start a new curve. Um, start a new curve. Start here and around we go. Time to speed up time. Coming to the end of our curve, last few points and close. And we have a new curve. Okay, I'm just going to speed up time for the remaining holes until we've got them all done. And that's all the curve creation done. Let's have a little look at our curves. Uh, okay, so let, no, you need the pen tool to view these curves. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. All the curves that we've created. Now please save. <laughs> <laughs>